What a job Mike Leach has done raising the standard of Washington State football. Now play someone. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the schedules in the Power Five. That's all the Power Five conferences plus the major independents. So it's 70 all the way up to number one. We've arrived at schedule number 58 out of the Pac-12. Like the videos, comment, subscribe, share the videos as well right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. The best debate, discussion, and analysis is right here. You can help us build the channel and continue what we've started by grabbing the Amazon link down in the description section below. Use that to shop on Amazon doesn't cost you a penny. It helps build the channel. Washington State's out-of-conference schedule weighs down this schedule ranking for sure. Washington State just doesn't play anyone. They refuse to play. They're Baylor. Baylor doesn't play anyone. Baylor and Washington State are probably the two biggest culprits in Power 5 football for not playing anyone. For Washington State, out of the gate, out of conference, New Mexico State at home August 31st, Northern Colorado, At Houston, that's the big game. At Houston, a group of five team that has obviously been very good in the past, uh, only seven and six last year. So it dated Houston against Washington for Washington State. And that is the beginning of the toughest stretch of the season for Washington State football this year. At Houston, UCLA, at Utah, those are the three games that would distinguish themselves. And that's not that difficult of a stretch. But by far, that's the toughest stretch. Who do you play and who don't you play is always the question that needs to be answered in analyzing any conference schedule, except the Big 12, where everyone plays everyone. In the Pac-12, they've got nine conference games. They only have 11 possible opponents, so they only miss two teams. For Washington State, uh, it's fairly inconsequential. There's no USC and no Arizona on the schedule, so they do face the other decent teams in the Pac-12 South like Utah and Arizona State, uh, they get to play Colorado as well. Of course, the Pac-12 North, much tougher than the South, and Washington State's big games are upcoming after the open date against uh, Utah, then open date, then Arizona State on October 12th. So here it goes, Arizona State on the road, Colorado at Oregon, pivotal conference division game, uh, a bye week before a date at Cal, which could be difficult. And then Stanford, Oregon State at Washington. So they've got Stanford, Oregon, and Washington and Cal spread out. They don't have to face a tough back-to-back at all the entire season. It's the easiest schedule in the Pac-12. Number 12, easiest. It's number 58 in college football. Uh, Please let us know what you think about Washington State football coming up in 2019. Right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. And we will be back with schedule number 57.